Johnny Dell is one of the underappreciated drivers in the sport, honestly. I, if you look at the number of wins he's had, championship, uh, polls, all those kind of things, uh, when you hear, you know, when somebody says, you know, who are the best 20 drivers, you never hear his name, and I don't think that's fair. Uh, obviously, an excellent race car driver. He's a champion of champions and a um, very first class individual, even though he spun me out here on purpose. Uh, we just won the uh, 2001 400 at Daytona. I won, and, and we were standing down in the motorhome lot. It was about 1 or 2 in the morning. And there was a we had a circle of us all drinking beer, and uh, about 20 of us. And I knew, I looked around, and I saw everybody, I knew everybody was close to the team members, and I had some friends in town and stuff. And I, looked, I just looked to my right, and standing right next to me was Bill Jerry. And uh, I said, what are you still doing here? Well, I'm still on the way home. He said, I wouldn't miss this. He said, that was the coolest thing i ever seen you do. And he was one of the one of the first guys when I won my first race at Richmond. So, uh, you know, he... He made you, he made you feel welcomed and, and you know you appreciated his friendship. I got to meet a NASCAR champion. That was the first champion that I ever met, and so to, to race against him through these last few years, um, my first start at Dover, uh, he started uh, right behind me uh, at, at Dover. My first ever race in a John Deere car, and I, I just pulled out of the way as quick as I could because those guys wanted to go a lot quicker than I did at the start of that race. When Dale Jarrett spoke about something, I mean everybody listened. To him. Took to heart what he said, so uh, you know he's he's always had that smile on his face. I mean, he's got that famous DJ smile, and uh, you know uh, I just think he's been a he was a great champion. He was a great winner. Uh, he was a great great ambassador for this sport.